The spray-up technique is a partly mechanised version of the hand layout process. Spray-up is an open mould fabrication process where resin and chopped reinforcements are sprayed onto a reusable mould using a chopper gun. Okay, so uh, the next um, equipment we're going to move on to is the uh, resin depositor. Uh, and this has a, a chopper head on it. So uh, once again, it's a high pressure style delivery gun. And it's the difference between that and the gel powder is it is a uh, slightly lower ratio for pump pressure. We don't need higher pressure with this because unlike a airless system, this is an internal mix gun. Okay, so this means that the resin and initiator is mixed inside the head. So this requires a solvent flush system. You see over here, that's the, that's the, cattle, the acetone, sorry. This is solvent, and that flushes the head. Okay. So this requires a solvent tank. This particular tank here is aerobic catalyst. So unlike a slave pump where it, it, it relies on hydraulic pressure, this works independently from the resin pump. So what we're doing is we're converting air pressure, and we're pressurising the tank. So this works independently of the pump, and it's what's known as an aerobic catalyst system. Lower pressure, internal mix, mix at the head, and up here we have a, a cutter. This is the chopper part of the gun. What this is, this is an air motor that will drive uh, a, a spindle which uh, contains a, a blade holder and we have some consumables in this, um, this head here. We have blades around the holder, we have rubber for a cock, also we have some adjustments on it. We can adjust the tension of the rubber, we can adjust, we can uh, have the, uh, any amount of blades that we require for strand length. We can make adjustments for motor speed. So we can adjust the speed of the motor. And we can, with this uh, adjustment here, we can adjust the introduce air and fan out uh, the glass and we get the right adjustment to go into the, the fan of resin. What feeds into this cutter head is what's known as continuous roving. Okay. Uh, unlike chop strand map where we can weigh it uh, per square metre, it's pretty well impossible to do with this system. So what we, what we do, we measure it by what's known as tex, and the tex of this particular roving is 2400. That means it's um, 2400 grams per thousand metres. So if we were to take this out for a kilometre, bundle it up and weigh it, it will weigh 2.4 kilos. Now being an internal mix, we, we need, as I said, we need a, a solvent flush. This bit here, this is an atomizer. Okay, so unlike the airless systems we're using a gel coater, they're not relying on, on air to, to atomize, to, to, to create a, a spray pattern. By reducing the amount of air, we can reduce emissions. So um, it's part of the training for gun operators to learn how to uh, control emissions. The spray-up process is a method in which resin is sprayed onto the mould at the same time as the chopped rovings. The spray gun is moved in a predetermined pattern to create uniform thickness of laminate. Considerable skill is required to control this. The air pressure in the lines to the spray head and chopper are preset within certain limits to regulate the ratio of glass to resin that has to be simultaneously deposited. Additional layers of chopped rovings, woven roving or mat and resin may be added to build up the right component thickness. The sprayed fibre and resin material is compacted using a roller to consolidate the mixture and to create an even and smooth laminate surface. This also ensures that the laminate properly adheres with the gel coat surface and removes any air in the resin matrix. The whole laminate is allowed to cure at room temperature, after which the part is then demoulded and sent for finishing work.